those are the live visuals coming in straight from the airport. Prime Minister embarking on this crucial five-day visit. Warren first he's going to visit United States and thereon he's going to uh, visit Egypt. But this visit to the U.S. is a very crucial one as we have been discussing because wide range of issues are on the table which are going to be discussed important deals are on the table and some of them are most likely to be signed between the two countries giving a boost to india's military prowess of course here we are talking about the key defense deals which are expected uh, to be signed between the two nations uh, be it the ge414 or the predator drones let me go across to my colleague rishab uh, rishab we are getting those live visuals and the departure note as well, wherein the note itself, of course, hails uh, the historic Indo-US ties. And of course, clearly, uh, this is what is going to be the agenda. And not to forget that this crucial meeting is in itself going to prove as a watershed moment uh, when it comes to the Indo-US ties. Definitely. If you see, if I can quote from the departure statement of the Prime Minister, he says that strong people-to-people -people linkage have been instrumental in developing the trust between our countries. Exactly what we were discussing, that how Indian diaspora in United States have created a relationship between India and United States, and which is formidable. We, in past, we have seen uh, issues between India-US uh, relationship, be it during 1971 Indo-Pak War, or be it uh, during the 1998 Indian nuclear test where uh, US was not in favor of whatever India was doing but now the United States it looks at India as a strategic partner we have seen leaders across the party line in the United States, be it Democrats or Republicans, coming forward and issuing statement, welcoming and showing the excitement about Prime Minister's visit to the United States. Uh, also, if you see, you know, this uh, visit will ensure that India and the United States move ahead of just a basic trade that the countries do. A defense deal which uh, deals with GE414 engine for the light combat aircraft in India or the Predator drone, the MQ-9, uh, of which India is all set to uh, place a deal of about $3 billion for 31 Predator drones for the Indian Armed Forces. That will uh, show, uh, a, you know, one a notch higher India-United States relationship. Apart from that, in, in this visit, we'll see that how India is just not another Asian country anymore and it has become a formidable global partner and that's the reason that so much of importance is being given to this visit. So it's not just two leaders meeting, it's basically two civilizations meeting. Uh, United States and India, they have been democracies to look at and the diversity, uh, democracy and freedom, as Prime Minister says, is the bond that US India share so definitely the visit that has just begun it will take another 15 15 and a half hours for Prime Minister to reach New York but the next four days will showcase world's two most vibrant democracies coming together world's two most vibrant democracies working together for a better future uh, uh, for a better mutual future if I may say and a development that both countries will benefit from